So, let's talk about neurofibromatosis. You might know it as NF, Recklinghausen's disease, or von Recklinghausen's disease. These are all right. There are three types of neurofibromatosis, NF1, NF2, and schwannomatosis. All three types have one thing in common, tumors. That sounds scary, but they're usually benign, or in other words, not cancerous. Only 2-5% to of neurofibromatosis tumors are cancerous. NF1 affects a gene on chromosome 17 that controls cell division, and NF2 affects chromosome 22. However, nearly half of all cases come from random mutation. Common symptoms for NF1 are brown spots over 5 millimeters in length, growths on the eyes, two or more tumors, or abnormal growth of the spine, tibia, or temple. Learning disabilities like ADHD and poor performance on academic and visual tests can be indicators as well. Additionally, if a parent or sibling has been diagnosed, there is a 50% chance that you have NF1. NF1 occurs in 1 in 3,000 births making it more common than Tay-Sachs and Huntington's disease combined. The symptoms are mild to moderate, but are progressive, which means they get worse over time. The life expectancy for NF1 is normal. NF2 tends to be worse than NF1. There are less symptoms, but they can include tumors, cataracts, loss of balance, or hearing issues. What? Symptoms are not usually noticed until late teens, but the earlier it is diagnosed, the higher risk of mortality at a young age. Schwannomatosis is very different from those other forms of neurofibromatosis. It affects chromosome 22 near NF2. It is almost always a random mutation, and the way it is passed on has not yet been discovered. Symptoms include tumors anywhere on areas that do not affect hearing and balance. These can be very painful and cause tingling in the limbs. The only known way to stop the pain is to remove the tumors, but they often grow back in larger numbers. The life expectancy for schwannomatosis is normal. But the pain can be so severe that everyday tasks are difficult, or so mild that people won't even get diagnosed. This form was recently discovered and very little is known about it. Yo, yo. Let's recap in the form of a wrap. Neurofibromatosis is a genetic diagnosis. Painful symptoms can occur but can be so mild that you're not sure. There are three types of this genetic disease. NF1, NF2, but not NF3. The third is schwannomatosis, that's no rumor. All of these three have symptoms in the form of tumors. Some tumors affect your hearing and balance. Some affect your learning ability with malice. It's autosomal dominant and therefore pretty prominent. If a parent or a sibling has a diagnosis, get yourself tested for neurofibromatosis. Corn Productions.